Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Thomas Gallery. And I'll, today I'll be doing another drawings decoded. I believe this is part four. Yeah. So right now we're gonna get into another sketchbook of mine. This is a, actually the smallest one I have. And see, it has a T here. And the design I wanted to, to do on the front of the front of the book. Oh. See, this one is from 2013 to 2014. So it says enjoy. So. This first sketch is something uh, inspired by William Shakespeare's Hamlet. And those who know William Shakespeare, he has written many plays. One of them is Hamlet. Hamlet is one of my favorite plays. Hamlet and Julius Caesar, two of my favorite William Shakespeare plays. And this is uh, Alas, Poor Yorick. You could look that up and see. And this is another drawing I did of a William Shakespeare piece, Alas, Poor Yorick. This one is a drawing, a uh, sketch I did of about Jacques de Molay. <laughs> and those who don't know who that is, Jacques de Molay was a Templar Grandmaster many, 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 many years ago. Many years ago. And this is the last Templar. He was, no, he was known for being burnt by the stake. And this is what I decided to do based on the first book of uh, Moses, Genesis. And this is a drawing of a person telling the story of creation. So there's a campfire storyteller right here. So you got people, children here, sit right, laying around, listen to the story. There's a man telling the story. He. <laughs> he. I'm sorry, I got that. This is a picture of drawing I did of my niece and drawing I did of my granddaughter. Sky and it's Braylon. They're much older now. The picture of my wife, Twanda. <laughs> this was a drawing I did of another William Shakespeare play, Othello. Othello. One of my favorites, too. This is a drawing, a sketch I did. I did a hat of you know, a paintbrush tied into a knot and is squeezing all the paint out, and the idea is. To, to the very last drop. So just explaining how get the most out of everything you do to the very last drop. Make sure you don't leave anything behind. And this is just a design I did, something random. It's a lot of these random drawings I have here. Different symbols are here, different languages symbols. Another sketch I did. This is another random sketch, a lot of random sketches in here. This was a sketch I did, um, inspired by Bob Marley's Redemption Song. Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. This was a sketch I did based off of uh, William Shakespeare's play Julius Caesar. And this is a meeting of Mark Anthony. I think it's Mark Anthony. I'm not sure. I'm talking about. Julius Caesar. Well, this is Julius Caesar talking. And he's talking about the men of the Senate. Yeah, one of my favorite plays. Yeah. This is a drawing inspired by Maya Angelou's uh, story, I Know What a Cage Bird Sing, or Autobiography. Love, great book. Those who can re have a chance to read that book, it is very good. And this is just some writing I did of the alphabet. You know, uppercase, lowercase. My own little rendition of it. Roman numerals, my birthday, February 26, 1983, Pisces, the fish. This is another drawing I did of the alphabet. And this is the Greek alphabet here. So, yeah. And the sketch I did, inspired by Washington, D.C., my hometown, my birthplace, inspired by Washington, D.C. That's the Capitol building. These just some random buildings I decided to put in place. This is a little symbol I came up with. It's uh, kind of a mix between two hearts and the Star of David. If you look here, look at the Star of David. This is a drawing I did. 
of an idea I have that I haven't I wanted I wanted to paint this idea I haven't done it yet but it's an idea I wanted to paint this is called the haves and the have nots see two people up here one climbing see everybody down here trying to climb up and this is a sketch I did that I may put into a painting of uh, one of the seven daily sins gluttony this is this is a sketch based off of a song, uh, Midnight at the Oasis. I forgot who forgot who sang the song, but uh, it's an Egyptian Egyptian theme here. Two people sitting on the desert, the moon bright above. I was drawing I did some Hebrew. This is another drawing I did uh, based off the Bible. We're talking about the tree in the midst of the garden. You know, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the midst of the garden. Yeah, it's supposed to be the tree. I don't actually look like that, but still, just emphasize that. Yeah. And this is a sketch I did that I didn't finish, but it's based off the song Knights of Egypt. See the Sphinx here and the three pyramids. This Sphinx right here. Just a drawing I did. It's about senseless violence. You know, crucifixion, what's real, who's dreaming. This is a sketch I did of the ancient Egyptian scientist Imhotep, one of the first world geniuses. He helped design he helped design and build the Step Pyramid in Egypt, the first pyramid. This is a drawing I did of the Queen Makeda, known as the Queen of Sheba, the real Queen of Sheba. And this is what's drawn, what I think she would look like. I, I don't know what she would look like, but this is what I believe she would look like. The drawing I did of the Flash, so explanatory. The drawing I did of Spider Man, Incredible Hawk. This is a drawing I did of. Uh, Ezio, the character from the main character from Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin's Creed is one of my favorite games of all time. Probably my, my top two. Between that and Killer Instinct. Yeah. One of my favorite. Just some dog drawings I did. Just a drawing I did of my sister uh, my sister in law's dog. The dog that she had. Her name is Kenya. That's her. This is uh, some writing I did of the Egyptian goddess Ma'at. Read that. Read about her. This is my own little Assassin's Creed version of that same person Ma'at. I don't know. And this is just some hieroglyphics here. Or proper terms, metal netter. A lot of these around. This is what I did of this is an idea I had called the Kingmakers. Where you look at the people who actually make kings instead of a king being a king, who puts the king in place to be a king. So here you have a drawing based off the song Aqua de Marco. It's a Brazilian song. Lovely song. Love that song. This is a drawing I did of Quincy Jones, world renowned musician and music producer and orchestra director. Very, 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 very good person. Genius. And this is based off a song. I have a hard time pronouncing that. Deixa do Desire. And it's another Brazilian song. This is Rio de Janeiro. This is a statue of Jesus. Look overlooking the city. Actually, got this from a, a postcard. That's from a postcard. And this is a drone I did of Bob Marley. This is a quick sketch. 
This is what I did of my living room. Yeah, I just had to do a little Eiffel Tower in the background. I don't actually live in Paris, France, but you know, still. Another sketch I did. Pharaoh, the, the different phases that black people have gone through throughout the world. Different images that we've taken on throughout the years. And this is just a fun one I did. Mixed between Assassin's Creed and Angry Bird. So it'll be Assassin's Bird or Angry Creed. And the Piglars, which is the Pig and Templars. So I'll call them the Piglars. Yeah, something cute. Well, this is a rough sketch I did. Didn't really mean to do anything with it, but it's something cool to do. And this was the design I thought of if I wanted to make a museum. That's it. Some ideas I had in my head. People I wanted to look up and research on. And image of Darth Maul. I know it's not how he looks, but you know, you get the idea. And this is a idea based off of Greek mythology, Sisyphus. The Greek story of Sisyphus and Hades and pushing a rock up the hill. Read that story. It's crazy. It's a quick sketch here of a woman sleeping. I know it looks real rough and real, real crazy, but yeah, something real fast. Design I did here. I still may want to do something with this. People playing in the band, playing instruments, stick figures. So, idea I have, I still may want to do, may do a painting of this. So, I'm playing words, it's called Justice because it's just us, because it just is. So, this plays on the word justice, 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 justice. Some designs here. Designs here, this Amazonian inspired, not quite sure, African Amazonian. Uh, a sketch of a person playing a trumpet. I don't actually play a trumpet, but trumpet is one of my favorite instruments. So. Random designs. Design here. I think you all get the point. I don't think I need to explain that, but yeah, you get the point. Design of a scarab beetle. The design of my cousin, one of my many cousins, but the design of her is a picture I took uh, took off her Facebook page and decided to draw it. A sketch I just didn't do. Uh, the idea of a skeleton hand with a watch on called Time is, Times Are Wasting. See, this is actually a sketch I did. I made a painting. I turned into a painting uh, some time later. See. See the child here with the village behind him. Goes off the expression, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, you know, it's called Meet the Parents. So everyone here looks after this one person here, this one child. And this is the close up version of it. I like that a lot. Still, I may, I may do another painting as spy from this. This is actually a sketch I did that I turned into a painting called The Voice of a New Generation. This is a microphone with the hood on, so it makes it like the microphone is actually a person. Yeah, same thing here. Took an idea of a microphone and dressed it up with human clothes. I turned this into a painting also. This also became a painting. It's just some notes. Yeah. Some notes I did. Just some ideas in my head. Thoughts I have. Yeah, more thoughts, more thoughts. This is actually, I forgot the name of the park, but it's in downtown Decatur, Georgia. Those who live in Georgia and Decatur know what I'm talking about. Park there. There's some Egyptian inspired drawings. Asar or Osiris. Is Aset or Isis. So, it's like this. It's kind of like a playing card idea. So, any way you play it, any way you turn it. Do some design. This is actually a design I did from inside the Chipotle. 
the Chipotle in downtown Decatur, Georgia. It was inside there and I drew this. Design I did a self destruction, a bomb hanging itself, self destruction. Random design, somebody asked me to do. You know, this random sketch. So, nice little design here. I like this design. Should do something with that too. Design of a person peddling knowledge. <laughs> Fun. Some more Egyptian inspired art. Anubis. Guardian of the Underworld. Haru. This is the this is the son of a star in a set. Haru or Horus. People know him as Horus, but his name is Haru. This is the Egyptian DT Pata and some people call him some people call this one Tahuti, but it's actually Jehudi. Yeah. An idea, random sketch. This I I got this inspired from a magazine. I thought it was cool. I actually did a, I did a painting from this too. I did another painting from this. And that's it. So all right. that's all everybody. That's one of my that's my latest what's well, one of my other sketchbooks. My drawings decoded. I'll be doing more probably tomorrow. So if you enjoyed the video, you know, like, subscribe and share. Comment if you like. Alright, and I will see you all later. Have a good day. Peace.